Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create an online presence, in particular an online CV or resume using Wix as a platform. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. I'm going to demonstrate you just how fast you can create your own website. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Wix.com. Now once you're on this website, we're going to find that big get started button and we're going to just click on that. Now the first choice you're going to have to make is how are you going to create your account? Now because I use Google a lot, I'm just going to click on continue with Google. Now this is going to make it super easy for me to remember my login details and it's just going to use Google to do it for me. Now once logged in, you'll see an overview of all your websites and we're going to create a brand new website. So let's go ahead and click on create new site. Now before creating your website, Wix is going to ask you what type of website are you going to be creating and we're making a portfolio and CV. So let's go ahead and click on that. And now we have two big choices. We can either use the Wix ADI platform. Now if you'd like to see how that works, hop into the cards and you'll see a video on the Wix ADI platform. Now on the other hand, we also have the Wix editor. Now the Wix editor is going to give us a lot more control over what our website looks like. And so that's what we will be using today. So let's go ahead and go to the editor and choose a template. Now as soon as you've clicked on that, you'll get a range of different templates and you can go ahead and select one that really reflects your personality. Because if this is going to be your online presence and your online CV, you want it to reflect you as a person. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we're going to select resumes and CVs and then we're going to scroll down until we find something that we like. Now I quite like this one so let's go ahead and click on view. And once you click on view you get a preview of what that website could look like once you've added all your personal details. So let's go ahead and scroll down and just see if we like this. Yeah, download my full resume at the top and then there's some information there. I actually really like this. So if you choose to use this template, well, the next step now is to make it your own and to personalize this website. So we're going to go to the top right corner. We're going to click on edit this site. So here we can see edit this site. And we are now in the Wix editor. Now, first things first, let's have a look at the workspace. Now on the left hand side, we have the different elements that we can edit and add and change. And then on the right hand side, we have our tools that are going to enable us to do that. So I'm going to show you a couple of these tools here. We have the copy tool. We also have a paste. We have duplicate, delete. All these tools will help us to really tweak the design. But then again, Wix is designed in such a way that it is very intuitive. And so what you see is what you get. And you can also just manually move elements around the website. This platform allows us to just build the website, make it look good, and then push it out as our website. So I'm going to just move that name down. I'm going to change that and I'm going to change it into my name. There we go. And then we're going to put a title there. We're going to add a little bit of information. So we now have a name a tech enthusiast and we can change the pages background. Now as I hover over all these elements it immediately tells me what type of element it is. So this is a text element, this is a button and this is an image. So now let's scroll down and let's change this image. So I click on it once and I can now change that image. In addition to this I have a number of additional tools. So you can also upload an image and then you can tweak that image with the magic wand. So here we can add some filters. We can even crop our image. So let's go ahead and change this image. So we're going to click on change image and I'm going to upload my own image. So we're going to upload media. Now I can choose from various cloud services. So you can see I have my Dropbox, Facebook, any of these platforms can be used to pull images in, but I'm going to manually upload this image from my computer. So let's go ahead and select computer and let's upload from computer. Now I can choose any of these images. I'm going to choose this one. There we go. The image is being uploaded. And as soon as it's uploaded, I can select it. So let's go ahead and choose that image. Now you can see it doesn't quite fit the original image. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the crop. So I'm going to double click on this image and now I can change how it is cropped. So we're going to just move that image down. We're going to zoom a little bit and then move the image down. There we go. Once you're happy with that, click on apply and our image now matches the shape of our template. Now let's say that you want to preview this website and you want to leave the editor view. Well, at the top right corner, you can click on preview. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's see what this website looks like after we've added those couple of changes. 
we can see here we have our website we have our name as we scroll down it moves up and then we have experience a couple of highlighted facts here you can see we can scroll left to right on these and I'm going to go down we've got some skills here there's an ID contact me I can change all these things and then at the top we have download my full resume so let's go back to the editor now and let's click on back to editor I'm going to go back to the editor and I want to change that background picture as well because it's a bit dark I want something a bit brighter so let's go ahead and change the background picture for our page we're going to click it once and then we're going to change the background picture now, as you can see, we can also have a video background. This is incredibly useful when you've already got some video files prepared or when you want to make your website look a little bit more professional. I'm going to go ahead and select a video as my page background because I like the little bit of movement on the website. So we're going to select one of these videos right here. We're going to click on this video right here. This will become our background. And let's say that you have multiple pages on your website and you'd like to apply the same background to multiple pages. Well, then you can click on apply to other pages and manually select all the pages that you'd like to apply this to. I'm just going to apply it to my home page. There we go and we're going to just leave it as it is we're going to click on that and there we go we have our background now nothing is moving and that's because we're still in the editor if you would like to see what this looks like in real life let's go back to that preview so we're going to go at the top we're going to click on preview and now you can see the video plays in the background and i can scroll down this page this looks like an incredibly professional website and it took me less than five minutes to build so let's go back to that editor and let's just scroll down and tweak this paragraph. Now, I don't like the font of this paragraph, so let's edit our text and change the font. We're going to click on edit text and here we can now change these fonts. So again, it has everything in one place, one page. So I'm going to just quickly change the font. I'm going to use a different font. There we go. Hi, everyone. This is my online CV. And as soon as we close that, we now have our text. Now, let's say that what you see on the template is not what you want on your website that you'd like to add your own elements. Just navigating to that left hand side. So here on the left hand side, we can add new things. Now I'm going to scroll down and I would like to have a little gallery down here. So I'm going to click on add. And now we can add all these different elements. We have images, a gallery, we have vector art, shapes, interactive buttons and slideshows. And what I want to add is a gallery. So I'm going to click on gallery and I would like to have a slider gallery. I can use any of these styles here. So I'm going to go with this one. There we go. I'm going to make it a lot smaller because otherwise it's going to really mess with my design. I'm going to place it here. Now let's have a look at the preview and see if this looks the way I want it to look. I'm in the preview. This is exactly what I want and I have a number of images in there. Okay, let's go back to the editor and now let's change the images in this slide deck. So I'm going to click on change images and I can select the images that I want to keep. So I'm going to just remove a number of images there. All done. And I'm going to click on done. Now, as with everything, you can add your own images, you can upload them or take them from your cloud storage. Now, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Now, because I make a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, what I want to show you is how to embed one of those videos onto your page. So let's say that I want to add another video. So I'm going to go to that plus add button and now I'm going to find video. Now again here we can upload our own videos, we can find some videos by Wix or we can also embed a single video player. I'm going to select YouTube because that's where my videos are stored. So let's make it smaller. Let's put that right there. Let's change the text in this paragraph. Here is my latest video. There we go. And I'm going to click on that video. Now obviously I don't want to have the default video playing. I'd like to really choose which videos are highlighted on my website and so i'm going to click on change video so we're going to click on change video and now we can search for videos on youtube now here we can also just select the address of the video now i already have a url for a video copied so i'm going to just paste that in there let's go ahead and paste the url for my video 
You can see it automatically changes and as I scroll down I have a number of playback options. Now because this is a website I do not want this to auto play so I'm going to leave this off but if you had a video let's say a welcome video well then you could tick this on and then your video will automatically play on your CV. Now I'm going to leave this off I'm also not going to play it in a loop and I don't need a video description. Go ahead and close this and let's go to our preview. There we go, we now have our website. You can see the video is there, it plays, it can play within Wix, but I don't like how it's misaligned. So let's go ahead and go back to the editor and let's just change that. I'm going to move this up, there we go, and you can see those purple lines jump into place to show me exactly where this video lines up with all the other elements on my website. This is very helpful when you're trying to design a good and professional looking website. And then the final thing I'm going to show you is how you can link to files that are then downloadable off of your website. So let's go to that button at the top and let's just change what that button does. So here you can see it's linked. Well, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to link to a different file. Here I can now select, do I want to link to a web address or do I want to link to an anchor which jumps it down the page? Well, I want to link it to a document and I'm going to choose a different file. We can now again upload our own media. So let's go ahead and click on upload media and upload from computer. I'm going to upload that PDF and we can now link to that PDF. Add this to our page and this button now links to a very different file. Now when I do scroll down you'll notice that this template also contained another button down here. These buttons are not linked to each other so you can link to multiple files by simply changing the files they link to after having clicked on that hyperlink. Now when you click on that add button on the left hand side you'll see there are many many more elements available. These range from buttons to full-on web stores that you can get up and running. But seeing as we're creating our online CV and portfolio we're going to keep it to the basic elements of video, images and lots of information. Now one thing that is important when you're trying to create a professional portfolio or a CV online is that you have that contact box. So let's just look at the contact box down below. Now here you can see it says contact me and this is a Wix form. And so let's go ahead and jump into the settings of that Wix form. I'm going to open it up and here in the settings I can choose exactly what happens when somebody submits an entry. So here I can email notifications and I can select the email they're emailed to. I can also add a special message. I can even have a payment link to this. So that means that we could pay for a service or anything like that. But it's a portfolio so let's not use that right now. I also have a number of automations that are linked to this and this can really save you time so you could send a thank you email or you can create a special task or even a chat message on your website. Now once you have your entire website created and you're happy with it well there's only one thing left for us to do and that's make it live. Make it go online and publish that website. So in the top right corner you'll see publish now. So let's go ahead and click on publish we're going to publish our website. Now as soon as our website is published it goes live. So we can see our website is now live and I've been given this URL. This is the free Wix URL. Now you can use this and you can share this with anyone who wants to see your website live on the internet. Now if you do want to use a custom domain well then you might want to consider upgrading your account from a free account to a premium account. Now you can see here there's some information there about getting a premium account but we also have a special offer and that's a link in that description below where you will get a discount for one of these premium plans. Now if you do know someone who's trying to up their online profile or trying to create their own website send them this video and tell them about Wix editor. Now I hope you found this helpful. If you did make sure you scroll down into the comment section below. Let me know have you used Wix? What are you using for your online CV and what are some of your favorite features in Wix? Now everything I've shown you today is part of the free Wix offering and if you'd like to see a video on some of the more premium features let me know in that comment section below and I'll show you those as well. Now, I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.